folks, if you're at Boss Fellers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Venture RV Sonic Model 190 VRB rear bathroom. Uh, no slide out, couples trailer. Probably your best selling floor plan in a smaller trailer for a couple ever. Uh, lots of very interesting features, uh, including the way it's constructed. One piece fiberglass roof from here all the way to the bottom at the back. There is no cross seam at the top, at the front, and the back. They eliminated the four corners. Corners represent 90% of water leakage in trailers. So, no corners, no leakage. It's as simple as this. Our floor, deck with plywood. So not a laminated floor, like 70% of everything that's manufactured out there. So great way to build a trailer. Seven and a half foot wide. It also very slanted at the front. These sonic toes like a charm. Beautiful trailer. So, and lots of very interesting features. So. Let's get started at the front, electric tongue jack, there's an LED light, two times 20 pounder. We do prefer the 20 pounder, they're lighter, easier to handle. Battery goes right here uh, behind the tanks. There is a battery disconnect, there's a stone guard, there's a beautiful front window. Uh, we'll get to see that uh, on the interior. Fast through storage, uh, slab latch handle, magnetic holder, all exterior lights including tail lights or LED. There is a motion detector light on the inside of the storage compartment as well on the other side. Four Caesar jack. Now this trailer doesn't have rain gutters because it bows lengthwise. So when it rains, water front goes towards the front and the back, not towards the side seam. So very interesting way of building a trailer. It's a good way. Uh, freshwater tank filled right here. Aluminum wheels, uh, radial tires. We notice they have been uh, spread apart a little bit so it gives you even a little bit more stability on the road. Detachable power cord, outside shower without the cold. Uh, you hook up for your sewers right there. Gray handle for the gray water, black for the black. Look at how tidy that is. Uh, city water connection, black tank flush to help obtain the black tank. Uh, water heater runs on gas and electrical. At the back we got our cable and satellite connection. We talked about the LED lights. It's ready for a backup camera. Your spare tire is right here as well, around the corner. We have a gas quick connect on the bottom right there. And right beside, we can see your low point drain. That's for uh, the cold and the hot water system. Those valves are steel, just like the quality you have at home. It's pretty nice. Outside speakers, electric awning with LED lights. Even though there's an LED lights on the awning, they still add a patio or amber colored patio light. A large foldable entry handle, a bottle opener dog leash holder, the new Trek steps, really like that. Look at the, the width of that first uh, step right there. You're not gonna fall. And underneath, there's a nice little blue LED light. So at night, you can keep all the lights off, just have that light and at least you can see the steps. Um, and yeah, same password storage as we looked on the other side, except with that uh, LED motion detector lights at the front. Now, interestingly enough, uh, the door is ready to receive a blind if you choose. We have those in the parts store. What I really like is those screens door are self-closing. There is a big uh, elastic on it. And this year they added the new Le Leopard screen defender. It's actually uh, a metal. So your dog not gonna go through the screen. So very nicely done. The interior. All right, folks, let's start on this side. Uh, dinette, traditional, table goes down, converts into a bed. Definitely uh, enough room for, you know, more than two people, but uh, it is what it is. So very nice, big bay windows. All the, all the windows have pleated shades. Lots of storage above. We have a uh, charge controller because there is a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. We have our stereo, we have a fan CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, HDMI. It's connected to the TV. It, it, it is pre-wired for a Wi-Fi extender if you want. Uh, just a question of buying the antenna and connecting it on the roof. Uh, at the end of this cabinet we have uh, a couple of light switches so for uh, exterior and, ex and interior or awning 12 volts USB and power outlet and this little this little blue one one 
it's for the light that's on the awning. It's a nice little spot hidden. You can put your wallet in here. If you're traveling outside the country, you can leave your passport in there. Nobody will know. There's a skylight. Kitchen-wise, pretty complete. Small, but complete. A very large, farmer-style stainless steel, undermounted bowl. It's also very deep. Really like that. Uh, nice quality tap that's often an area and a lot of manufacturer goes cheap there is a drying rack uh, you can cut it if you want no trouble there and uh, it does have a nice little cutting board with the logo from the company that fits on the sink as well three burner stove flush mounted bifold glass top cast iron uh, grill on it really like the quality of that uh, there's an igniter as well. You don't need a lighter. The button, as you can see, lights up. There's a nice little oven. Animal finish, just like the quality you have at home. Nicely done. Her furnace is below. There's a range hood that's vented outside, folks. I mentioned that because uh, one, out of five, or one out of two is not vented outside. This one is. Uh, nothing worse than getting the air recirculating in the, in the trailer if you're cooking bacon. Uh, microwave right above. A very large above the sink cabinet so of course you'll need to uh you know manufacture something for your own needs and goods so i would probably put a little shelf halfway and uh, put all my cups and, and glasses on the top and the smaller bowls and the plates on the bottom but pretty much everything could fit in here i can't myself and the little cabinet i have above my sink is not as big as this and we actually fit everything a little bit of storage here plywood made drawer the whole drawer comes right out look at that ball bearing hardware pretty nice and uh window window look at the size of the window here folks so they actually put the biggest window they could and uh there's another one on the other side and that brings us to our murphy bed now we are in a trailer that's 23 foot 3 inch overall length that's dong to bumper it weighs on the dot 3900 pounds we have both a dinette and a sofa but you don't need to put the sofa up in the morning if you don't want to. You can leave it as a bed. It's not going to affect the flow in the trailer, especially if you're going golfing or, uh, you know, at the beach or something. It's not going to affect the usage of the trailer. But if the weather doesn't cooperate and you have to pass the afternoon in here and watch a movie, well, you do have a place to sit. So it's kind of nice. Now, to make your bed, all you need to do is to fold the sofa down, unlatch the back here, unfold the ledge and unfold your mattress you can leave your blanket you can leave your pillows you can leave the mattress stopper if you choose to put one on there's plenty of room look at all the space there is between here and the wall it's a heck of a lot more than the thickness of the mattress now shirt closet were cut and they left that open i'm a big fan why use waste that space now it's actually usable uh some people like to bring a glass of water uh, to bed or an arm clock, a CPAC machine, there's a, a 110 outlet on that side and there's a USB outlet on this side. In the closet you notice there's a real bar, a real hanger will fit. And the little storage above do have struts to keep the door up. Really like that. An extra step, nobody look, nobody touches. It's just easy that they've gone all the way to make sure that it was uh, fully usable. Uh, there is a blind to the front window, but when you lay at night, you can actually see uh, the stars, which is kind of nice. But you do get the privacy and the darkness if you choose to put the blind down. So, uh, on the way to the bathroom, we have our 8 cubic foot fridge. It is a Prurion fridge. Very deep. Why is it very deep? It's because it's 12 volt only. And 12 volt only doesn't need a chimney in the back to evacuate the heat. So we can use the entire depth of the cabinet and there are more space now. It's great. By the way, very efficient. If you have any doubt, they give us a call or stop by. We'll uh, uh, explain how these 12 volt fridge works. But they do not use a lot of power. And with the solar panel that's included on the roof, there will, there will be zero problem even if you do some dry camping. On this side, we have our thermostat. But more importantly, the Level Mate Pro. It's a little device that you basically download an app on your phone and it will help you level your trailer side to side and front to back. And uh, It's like a, a neat little device. We have the tire minder right below here. So it's ready. Again, if you choose to put a, um, a hair pressure monitoring system on your tire, 
Um, you just uh, install the uh, little unit here and again it will speak to you via an app on your phone to let you know if your tires are low on here. Uh, the back is uh, what makes this little trailer <laughs> a very popular floor plan. Look at the size of this uh, bathroom, it's incredible. This is not only what we find in bigger fifth wheels. So first of all, there's a nice little hanging closet right here and there's a shelf. But look at the size of the vanity. You got a little stainless steel sink. You got a medicine cabinet. You got some room at the back. You can leave uh, the shaving cream and the hand cream, whatever. A little bit of storage below. Your water heater is right here. So when it's time to winterize, you remove the two screws and you're ready to go. You got a power outlet. A uh, fresh water tank's got a warmer on it. And uh, your water heater as well as your fresh pump or your water pump uh, button right here and your monitoring system for your fresh tank. Now, why in the bathroom versus in the living room or in the kitchen? Well, let's just say you're on the road. I normally not turn off the pump when I'm traveling. In case something happened and the pump goes out because one of the pipe breaks, so you're going to have a leak in your trailer and that's no good. But if you use your facility, you may want to turn on the pump. It's right here. And as you exit, you can just turn it back off. It's a great spot for it. Um, a little bit of a linen closet. That's big enough. Foot flush porcelain toilet in a nice rounded shower. So I'm five foot eight. There's still plenty of room above my head. Uh, glass door. I'm not a big guy, but uh, I'm not a small guy either. And there's plenty of room in here uh, to take a nice shower. Motion detector light. There's a power fan on the roof as well. This is fully complete. So why is this trailer so popular? There is no slide out. The weight is incredible. We're sitting on tandem axle and it's got everything you can possibly need to camp in style, including a sofa. Folks, uh, this was, this still is our number one selling floor plan. There's a reason for it. If you have any question, give us a call. Better yet, stop by and see it. We'll be happy to demonstrate. Until then, thanks for watching. I think we've done it.